Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on our Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new photo editor after you have your Samsung phone updated to Samsung One UI 3.0, which brings you Android 11. Now I'm a part of the beta program and this full version will not be pushed out until probably November, but I wanted to show you just a couple differences and updates when it comes down to 3.0. Now, one of the things that they did update will be inside of the gallery. Now, one of the things that you will notice is, let's say you take a look at a photo. You'll also notice on the very bottom right-hand side, this is where you have your more options, which actually makes a lot more sense than having it on the top right-hand side. Especially as of lately, after Samsung One UI was pushed out, it's a way that it's able to be a lot easier to work with just one hand. Now, we're really not talking about everything down here. The one that I do wanna talk about is inside of the gallery with the photo editor. So let's say that you go inside of this photo and you wanted to edit this. So originally, let's say that we go through and let's just do something that looks completely different just so you guys can see a huge change. Let's say that you make you know, a few different changes to uh, the photo. Then you wanna go inside and then you hit on save. Now, originally, with the phone that you have right now, when you edit a photo, you'll actually have two photos that's gonna be super similar sitting right next to each other. Well, what this one does is it will actually overwrite on top of that original image, and this is the photo that you have. So this way, if you're gonna edit the photo, you're not gonna have multiple images and duplicates. Probably you would go through and delete the older image. But the good thing about this one here is that if you do wanna go back to the original image, again, without having multiple and duplicate images, go right back inside of edit, and then you can just revert it back with just one touch. And there we go, we got the original image. And then once you hit on save, now this will be the image that is saved. It's actually super smart and it's very helpful. It's convenient that you're not gonna have multiples of different photos. Now, if you would like to have multiple photos, all you'd have to do is go inside of here. If you wanted to choose a different image, uh, then you just go on the very top right-hand side and you go to save as. So then this way you can still have your original image but then you're gonna have the one that you are now editing. But again, that save as is probably not for everybody and that's why it's gonna be on the top right hand side. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, so famous, number one, desirable I do what I want when I want and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul